Oh yeah. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, keyboards. Bokeh, Simon. Bokeh. Oh god, I gotta reset this course. Oh, that's not hard. They were all newspapers. <laughs> Woo. Sheesh. Ah, oh, oh baby. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Hmm. This mug is so big. Hi BS. Hello. It's me. The BS man. Oh. Nice cheese stream. Yeah, my stomach is still fucked from two weeks ago. You guys remember two weeks ago? When my stomach was fucked? It's still fucked. So I, I haven't been drinking for the last week and I've been eating properly and I've been taking the correct medications. So today we have tea. Pog. When you almost died in stream? Yes, that one. Like, it's been bad for a while, dude. My stomach has not been well. Oh, yeah. How's everyone's weekends going? We chilling? If it's still fucked after eating right and, drink and not drinking for two weeks, just say fuck it and drink anyway. That's the spirit. Hello from my thought geek glare. I'm typing on my F1. It's a beautiful, beautiful F1. Look at it. Look at it. Oh. Oh. Don't mind how filthy my desk is. Oh. Oh yeah. F1. Oh, F1's so good. Don't look over there. That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> oh. I set up a new server today. With Kate. Now I have three. No, don't do that. Consume things and type on good keyboards. Question mark? Question mark? The T was the only thing missing. Now, this now a T he type stream. That shit is bussin' bussin'. On God, respectfully, sheesh! Rip your ears. And rip Kate in the next room. She's probably so bad. <laughs> I'm expecting her to barge in right now. She'd be like, stop it. Not loud enough. That was maximum. I, I mean, I have an analog limiter, but can you retry? No. I can retry it. Oh, oh, it is a wonderful day. It is a wonderful keyboard day. I have yet to see the links. Your mic is so loud. Can you turn it down? No, it's not. It's really not. I can see my levels. They're right there. Nice try, buddy. Ah. I also have a fucking sore on the inside of my lip by touching my teeth, and it's been there for a week. Dude, I'm in fucking shambles. Your mic is so quiet, can you turn it up? I cannot, it's at the maximum, unfortunately. I need to get a, a, a cloud lifter. Like my levels are a little bit under where I want them to be at normal speaking volume. Put salt on it. I fucking sounds love knobs. Hey, two years of keyboards. Thank you for the two years of keyboards. Do we look at the links? Let's look at the links. I'm kind of scared. Mike isn't quiet. I mean, I'm compensating for it by turning it out all the way up to 10, but like I shouldn't be at 10. Like I should be like midway gain wise. All right. Oh, I fucking oh no. Love not. We are missing a camera that is supposed to point at the hum. Hum is not here right now, but. We're gonna plug it in anyways. Oh. Oh no, I'm using all my ports. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Mm. All right, uh, come on, get it in the hole. Come on, come on. Bro, just fucking get in there. Bro, it's the right way. Fucking USB, dude. USB, even when you have it the right way, it's just like, 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Didn't say the magic word. Okay. Uh, webcam, VP cam, deactivate, activate. There it is. Home cam. Let's go. I watched your video on good things about the hobby and discovered spring swapping. Oh no. Can we get more endless void? Not enough endless void. I fucking Absolutely. love knobs. Absolutely. Wait, let me fix me because I am not centered in the center. I need to center me in the center. Look, I am I now centered. Love knobs. Ooh. Hey, Atmosphere, thank you for the two months. What do you think about the bias R2? If you looked at bias R1 and were like, I am all about this, I just want to be in like the most fucking dumpster fire group buy of all time, then bias R2 is definitely for you. Char thank you for the 14 months. Let's go. Every time I try to say your name, I feel like I'm going to like fall over. So I don't even bother. Oh boy, it's me. I hate Phillips Head Screws. R2 is the dumpster fire group buy, is it? What does Simon Coin do? Uh, so traditionally, I it should do a lot of love things. Knobs. One, you can redeem Thok. Two, you can redeem Gator Kiss. Three, you can redeem Sellout. Four, you can redeem Cuck Van. Please don't, it's probably disabled. Five, you Fuck. can redeem Gator Dance. And six, you can redeem Good Switch, which currently we don't have. And seven, you can redeem Bad Switch. Oh, Simon, you look very HD today and your background looks not. Did you just notice that I got a new lens? Did you just notice? Ah, uh, okay, so uh, Gator Dance is disabled. Good Switch and Bad Switch, I need to revamp. Cock Van is probably disabled out of like, hatred. But we do have a gator kiss. Yeah, we can have nice things. Listen, I, I just, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna re-enable gator dance, okay? I'm re-enabling gator dance. What happened to redeem scream? Uh, the neighbors got a little bit scared. They, did, they didn't say anything, okay? They didn't say anything. However, When I walked out of my house and I saw them, they like immediately like started walking way faster. So I'm just like, okay, I think it's time to like stop being sussy. All right, Gator on Dance, enabled. There you go, enjoy. And we got a Gator on Kiss. I hope this is HD enough for you guys. Mwah. My fucking face hurts. Ah, oh, all right. Solid meme. Solid meme this week. We take those. Let's go. All right. We, that's not bad. That's not bad in terms of content. We can do that. We can do that. This is doable. This is doable. All right. Shall we begin? I fucking Jam Pot, love Thank you for the 36 months. And Erlandum, thank you for the eight. Let's go. Alex FRO. By Sh William. Beautiful name. This actually looks nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all about this. Oh, yeah. First of all, good bezels. No cherry lip. Seam. Okay. I, I like where this is going. I like where this is going. I really like where this is going. Wing keyless, top mount, perfect, 6 degree typing angle, 17.7 mil, adjusted front height, seamed, no weight, ANSI full and half plates, MX solder, uses a Molex for a uh, daughter board, uses an STM MCU, feels bad, but I think this is the non-sussy one. Indicator LED support for caps lock, fuck yeah, and home, but why? Okay. QMK and VL, yes, by Sleep Dealer. Nice, 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 nice. Now show me. Design. 
you, sir. You, sir. All right, what's what's the license on this? So, non-commercial. So, non-commercial. Not necessarily licenseless, but not bad. Trillium, you are a gentleman, a scholar, and the sexiest big dick having enjoyer, keyboard enjoyer of all time. Take your eggplant and get the fuck out of here. This is the project that I've been waiting a long time for. Somebody to just do a super basic FRL and make it cheap. This is zero dollars. You win. You win at life. All right, where's the layout support? Does it support? Yep. It supports full size, right shift. Nice. ISO support. Nice. Step pro and non-step pro. Nice. Split backspace. And normie bottom row, which we don't talk about. Wait, but you said it's wing keyless. Oh, that's PCB layout. Okay, so like the PCB could theoretically support that if you were a monster. Got it. This is great. I want this. See, the issue is PCB. Because like getting a one-off is expensive. Have you... I assume you've protoed this, right? So uh, a particular manufacturer would already have the Gerbers on hand. Uh, what I would recommend is in here, just be like, here is where you should make it because it'll be cheaper because they're already going to have the files. That's what I'm planning to do for the uh, for the uh, NWO 5000. I'm just like being like, here's the Electro link. They already have everything. Good luck. There are no Gerbers to make PCB though. No, or you have to make PCB made with... No, no, my, my point is like, they've already done the layout, right? So if, if you prototyped it, they've made the PCB. So like, they already have everything on hand. It's going to be a little bit cheaper to go with them versus someone else. Like, that's the play. Like, the whole point is for people to save money. Uh, another thing you could potentially do is just like make 20 to 50 of them and just stock them and be like, I'll sell them to you for 40 bucks. Like, throw a margin on it. So like, if if you're okay reaching out to like, you know, uh, a CNC prototyping place to just make one unit, but not super familiar with PCBs because most people are not. I've got, you know, 50 of them or 30 of them or 20, whatever you think is comfortable and just be like, you can buy them. And include like, it's a little bit of an upfront investment, but like you'll, you'll get your monies. Doesn't Gerber serve that exact purpose you described? Yes. I was simplifying. Because a different manufacturer might just be like, oh, I don't have this. I'm going to have to use a different thing. Oh, this doesn't work. I'm going to have to change this. Whereas if you've already done it with one guy, they've already got everything. Theoretically. Don't worry about it. I don't know shit about PCBs. I've made like one fucking PCB. Okay, technically three fucking PCBs, but... I have very little knowledge, but that very little knowledge has been helpful. We got a Gator Dance, fuck yeah. PCB? <gasps> PCB. Anyway, if, if you decide to make some PCBs, please DM me. I like I can definitely like get one machined, but like I don't want to deal with the I don't want to deal with getting a one-off PCB and having to hand fucking assemble it. Because they're not gonna do hand they're not gonna do uh machine assembly for one unit. They're just gonna tell you to fuck off. What does a PCB look like? Do you have a picture? You do not. Picture would be nice. I, I mean, okay, besides like me literally looking at it, it's not going to serve much purpose. I mean, it uses like an actual like surface mount controller, so it's not going to be easy to do. What if you ask for five PCBs? Yeah, but then you have four that you're not using unless you want to make on JLC, you can do two. I would rather I like fucking, I would rather like not. cut off my feet with that saw that they had in the movie Saw than have to go to JLC. Fuck JLC. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, bu 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 bu. JLC probably has been fine for you, but uh, if you've ever heard a story about, oh no, the PCBs were accidentally 1% too big, or oh no, the plates were accidentally 1% too small across a thousand fucking plates, that was JLC every time. 
Will you CNC one board? Yeah, I can CNC one board. I don't mind. I can sneak it into like a, a group buy or a prototyping run quite easily. Electro can do one off. They can, but like, I don't think they'll do assembly for a one off. I think you'll need to do like five or like 10 or something. Or it's really expensive. I don't remember because when I got prototype ISO PCBs, uh, Heine had to hand, hand assemble them. Anyway, this is amazing. Good job, Shwilliam. Fucking, it's like best shit. Best shit. This is the best shit. Have you tried PCB Way? Almost every content creator seems to get sponsored by them. Yeah, that's that's not a red flag at all. All right, let me bookmark this. Nice FRL. Please CNC me. Just make four friends. Imagine making four friends in this hobby. I'm kidding. I've made a lot of good friends in this hobby. All right, next we have the Aquila. Aquila, Aquila, Aquila. Like tequila. Okay, Aquila. Ultra wide, minimal, big knob. That's, that's what they call me. That's what they call me. Ultra wide, ultra minimal, big knob. The Aquila is a 60% wireless mechanical keyboard featuring an ultimate minimalist design and our proprietary tri mode wireless solution, aka fuck your firmware. What do you mean slipping into a group by prototype run? I mean, like, if I have a friend and, like, they're prototyping some units, uh, it's easier to get the the CNC company to, like, do a different... All right, so if I'm going to make a one-off, let's say that one-off is going to cost, like, $500, for example. But if they're already manufacturing, like, 10, 20, 50 units of something else, and, like, for a friend of mine, and I ask that friend, can you slip this in? Instead of paying 500 bucks, I'll realistically be paying, like, 300 Ah, uh, I that's like just numbers in the wind. Like I don't know what the actual thing is, but there is an advantage. I've done it before. Like a one-off plate is like forty to fifty dollars. A plate stuck into a like a prototyping run is twenty dollars. How can something be wide and have much unneeded space and also minimal? Have have you never seen like minimalist design? No interior design. Like none of like it's all fucking empty space. Look at that. Look at it. It's, it's correct. Like, that's minimalist. Minimalist is like big fucking empty space and you do nothing with it. So they nailed it. Absolutely. Akira adopts a 60%. Oh my god, it's so wide. Okay, I thought... It's a lot wider than I thought. It's... This is wider than an exempt. No, 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 it's not. It's about on par with an exempt. I owned an exempt. It was great. Unfortunately, Olivia robbed me of it. All right, so compact layout with three U spaces on both sides, creating an unparalleled visual balance. After multiple comparisons and adjustments, we have determined the most reasonable and aesthetic aspect ratio. Aquila has the same length as a keyboard, a 104 key keyboard, but is narrower, which will not cause adaptation issues or mouse compatibility problems. Uh huh. The only consideration may be desk space. Okay, so you're mounting using the PCB. You've got meme cuts for every row, kind of and perky RGB and hot swap. So I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Is that an on off switch? Excuse me, sir? It actually is. Okay, so that's like the bootloader switch. Cool. It comes in purple, uh, mini layers and, uh, and, and white, okay. It's wireless. Uh, 2.5 kilos. Ah, we are looking for a vendor partner. If you are interested in presenting kind Kindle Star products, please contact me. Feels fucking bad. I can't. I mean, a China vendor. Okay, that's a bitching case. That's a bitching case. That is a bitching case. That is proper. Okay, unironically, unironically, this is like Kevin3992. It's a Chinese guy. He's Chinese. Got him. Okay, he could also like be Vietnamese or like some other Southeast Asia. 
I mean, we knew it when we saw like the meme cuts and the perky RGB and the hot swap, but you know. And the Dior. Only an Asian man would do something like this. Why random pictures of cologne? Uh, it's like pictures of like the keyboard next to fancy things. So like, you know, if it's, uh, it's an effect where like if you place like a like an object but you like you know you do the the uh the seasoning around it you you season it up to a, like a higher level it makes the item itself seem higher level association that's what i'm looking for thank you for having one word that explained my 30 words simon do you like yeezy boots no 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 i like uh uh, high top Nikes for when it's cold and like ultra boosts uh, if I can get them at half price because they're comfy as fuck and like comfy New Balance that's it I my my primary thing is comfort like my, my feet should be comfortable will my keyboard attract hot milfs like cologne yeah of course dude Did you, do you not see the picture do you not see the milf the, the milf bait Okay, honestly, honestly, I'm kind of okay with this. I'm kind of okay with this. Which Ultra Boost model? I think I have the 19s. I had the 18s before that. Just the, the Ultra Boots. The normal ones. All right, I'm going to give this an okay hand because, like, this is actually okay. Yeah, the PCB is a meme. The whole thing is a fucking meme. That's the thing. So, like, I appreciate a project where somebody comes in and is just like, I am going to make the thing that I want. Fuck what everybody else thinks. And if you are that person, do, do it. Do it. Follow your fucking dreams. Don't fucking be like, oh, they want gasket mounted 65% with, with top right blockers. Fuck all that. Make what you want. Make what you want because, like, in the end, you'll be happier. Your customers will be happier. And, like, you might actually get more fucking sales. Simon, because of you, scored a Keychron Q8 Alice. 135 bucks. Going to be my first Alice. I didn't realize I did an Alice. Nice. Yeah, but I see. I mean, not everybody's going to like it, but some people are going to like it. Like, if I didn't already own an Exempt at some point, and this bottom row layout wasn't cursed as fuck, I would actually fucking consider this. It's pretty. I got an Exempt. I love, I love the Exempt. Uh, I fucking oh. love knobs. Keep Jimmy, thank you, by the way, for the tw 33 months. And Benny, thank you for the six months. And the eggplants. All right. Let's go. Next, we have the split 60. I wonder what it is. Is it a 75%? All right, it's a split 60. Ooh, be on the left. Be on the left. Okay. Okay. It's polling time. All right, go. Where would you put it? Why on the left? Honestly, that's the thing that I struggle uh, most on the Alice with. Is like, I'll kind of like ambidextrously use the Y without thinking about it. As opposed, like, B, I only use one of the two Bs. I can't remember which one. But the Y really fucks me up. Be on the left the way Cherry Gods intended. Based. I mean, you can't have both on something like this. But spacebar layout is nice. It's essentially Sangha and bottom row, just split. Well, some people can type correctly. Listen, buddy. Good for you. Okay, it comes in hee hee KB. All right, uh, MXA HHKB, not true HHKB. Okay, the split looks relatively nice. Plate, uh, kind of sussy. This is the second board of design featuring the Let's Ta following the Let's Tango. After many years of waiting for someone to design a split 60 made from aluminum, I decided to make it myself. 
Are there no Alu split six juice? Is that a cork plate? No, that is uh, very poorly anodized aluminum. Wait. Or that's FR4. That's been painted. Uh, as the market is quite rough for mid-range boards, I'm happy to modify to reach certain price points. Very cool. I'm planning on doing commissioning a design for the back of the board. Cool. Sparkly brass? I don't think it's brass. It's too sparkly. All right. Uh, the current iteration is made from aluminum and brass. Okay, so maybe it is brass. Thank you. Left B. Left B wins. Split 6G, he he KB, 7 degree angle, top mount, based. 1.5 and 3 mil options, feels bad. Uh, please, 1.5. Price is TBD. Uh, ballpark price would be nice. Just be like... I mean, like, you, you have a prototype, right? If you have a prototype, I'll, I'll give you an idea of how to get a ballpark price. If you have a single prototype, uh, you ask your manufacturer to give you uh, a quote at, let's say, 50 MOQ. Okay, because at 50 MOQ, you, like... Your goal is to break 50 MOQ. So you get a quote for 50 MOQ. You take the price for the actual machining and finishing cost. You multiply that by two. So if it costs, I don't know, $150 a unit, then you're at $300 a unit. And then you can define a 20% price range uh, over and under. You can go 25, 30 if you want. And just say it's going to be between X and Y. Because then, like, at least you have some information. Because I look at this and I'm like, you know... Unironically, I'd, I'd consider this at maybe like, you know, 300 bucks flat if it doesn't have any weights or whatnot. But if you're going to tell me it's going to be 600, then my interest is gone. Oh, fucking hell. Give me a second. Okay, sorry lads. At least at the very beginning, he was like, are you streaming? I'm like, yes, I'm streaming. Make this fucking fast. All right. Okay, so target price would be nice. Uh, plan is to do it recycled aluminum, fine, whatever. Using this material makes sanitization difficult beyond black and silver, sure. However, e-coating is available. I mean, e-coat will also have adhesion problems, but it's fine. Topra? I don't think you can Topra like easily with a form factor like this. Cause like you'd need a little bit of space around like the uh, the switch assembly. Okay. So two protos, very cool. Yeah, honestly this looks fine. Explaining the internet to a boomer. How? How do you know? How do you know? Can you tell? You were you reading my lips? Ah. All right, I'll give this an okay hand. I like the project. Just get a get a ballpark price. Just very ballpark. Just be like, or just like from your own head. Just be like, I want to sell this at X amount of dollars. And if you go over, fuck it, you tried. And if it's under, then great. Ah. MX or normal he KB? Like what we were looking at, it's MX, so like it's centered spacebar, which I don't like. I prefer true HHKB. 
All right, next we have Dafu EC HHKB. Oh, baby. What's the best one? I prefer true HHKB because, like, I actually use HHKBs regularly. It's my it's my default keyboard for the living room because it's the w best wireless keyboard you can buy. That's like not dog shit or like Corsair. Uh, so I'm I'm used to it. It's muscle memory. Is true HHKB with a six U spacebar? Six U spacebar and offset to the left. I know that this is the right for you, but. Because like true HH, like a real HHKB has a uh, has a wider uh, like a wider blocker on the right than it does on the left. Simon, have you touched Type B? Of course I have. All right, let's go. Uh, happy Labor Day! First of all, I wanted to thank the bosses who brought flame. That plane is flying really low. And Hanres in China for their support and encouragement all the time. Today I bring you an ECHHKB called Dafa. This keyboard will be my last work in 23 years. The reason is I am going to be a father soon. There'll be no time to communicate and play with everyone later. It's a bit sad. Bro, you, you multitask, dude. There are single moms that will like work jobs and shit. Fucking man up, dude. Ah. I mean, Selvin is a dad. All right. Okay, so fairly, Fairly standard, but with an internal brass weight, which is pretty cool. Okay. It is screwless, and it's got the tiniest external weight, but we don't talk about that. Okay. Yep, this is true HHKB. You see how this side has a big blocker and this side small blocker? True HHKB. And that's a big fucking weight. Well done. All right, 18 mil front height, USB-C, cool. So it is, holy shit, okay. All right, so shell and liner. So like the, the bare, bare minimum is option A and option B is with all the shit. So it's 3830 yuan with everything, with everything. It's $554 for everything. But if you're gonna get your own housings, your own sliders, your own all that shit, it's 350 bucks. Which, for the size of the weight, is kind of okay. Yeah, so uh, if you are interested in this, uh, meaning one, you know how to China, uh, two, you have a way to actually get uh, cheaper desk keys materials, which you should have a way soon, cough, uh, I would just go for the board. I would just go for the board. It looks nice though. All right, so this is just an IC at this point. You have to hop in the group. PCB not by SIP a lot, it's by China lot. China lot. By Clap keyboards. Who did the clap hand rest group by and the clap flame X stone age? How much are the additional parts? Two hundred bucks. Is this Sipalot's work? Is it? I didn't see his name anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised for uh, a couple of reasons. Ah. Hmm, 190, you could harvest a secondhand HHKB? Yeah, and where are you going to get the housings? Oh, SIP stuff is open sourced. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense then. Get cheap 91U. All right, I am gonna give this an okay hand uh, for just, just the board itself. Don't get the parts, figure out your own parts, but you know, or, 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 or. Buy a type B and get the EC kit later. All 
Oh, yeah. Are you guys liking the new mic, by the way? Is it immersive? Are you immersed? Are you guys immersed? Are you immersed? You better fucking be immersed. Oh, God, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> How hard does type B make you feel? I mean, I, pref I prefer it with a softer plate, but yes. Which mic did you get? Uh, I got an RE20. I fucking love Mr. Not. Pixel, thank you for the 10 months and the Prime sub. Hey, did you guys know that if you have Twitch Prime? Sorry, fuck. Hey, do you guys know if you have Twitch Prime, you can link it to your Amazon account and then and, and then buy Yeezys for your favorite streamer? Check Sip's site, linked above. Linked above where? Oh, the, the, in, in chat. Okay, yeah, so that is a commission. Okay, I saw this picture, I just never saw it in red. Okay. All right, let's go. Next, we have the Cycle 7. I'm going to assume that this is a 75%. Lolo. Cycle 7, TKD custom keyboard look. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. I am Lolo. Because of the old habit that we have always adhered to, uh, we need to realize and confirm the final large-scale samples before releasing the product. So I am sorry to keep you waiting for a long time. It's an FRL, it's an FRL. You know, you know? See, I know some people like in their brains right now is like, oh my God, why is everybody making FRLs all of a sudden? FRLs are so fucking good. FRLs are so fucking good. I've been saying this since 2017. I'm that far ahead of the curve, okay? 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Six years, y'all are fucking six years behind me. If you guys want details about what's going to be really, really hot in six years, please DM me. I'll let you know. Where's your FRL then? Uh, I have one on the table right in front of me. Uh, uh, right here. Uh, I have one behind me in the keybinet uh, down there where you can't see. Trust. And uh, I might be getting another one real soon, if not a couple. So, eat my ass. Illuminati has zero. Uh, because I want like I want a low cost FRL. I don't want to make. Uh, for the record, uh, I like I designed the i1 and then immediately did the i2. The i2 was an FRL back in 2018, and then somebody made an FRL back in 2018 or like debuted it. His name was Simon S I M E N from Triangle Labs. Yeah, very convenient. Uh, so it, I just lost all will to fucking do the project. And my goal was if nobody made a cheap FRL. By 2022, I would do it, but people have so. D and D when? Why are you asking me, bro? Ask ask the the the, the dungeon master. All right, five months ago we vert. Oh, this is vertex. N equals bound to TKD. During this period, apart from being busy, we talked about unavoidable customization. Blah blah blah. Cycle seven. Oh, it's vertex. Hey Lolo. Can I have one? Like, I'll pay money. Can can I have one? Please send me. Is, is there purple? There's purple. Oh. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. Have you paid the ARC? Yes. Bro, I've been asking them to pay. I have the arc that I've, like, I'm still trying to pay money for and my TGR 910 that I'm still trying to pay money for. Can you guys fucking take my money, please? Oh, that is hot. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan when like people do this, but whatever, it's on the bottom. All right, so two types of gasket mount, switchable with a seven degree typing angle and 18.2 front height. Decentralization. Fuck yeah, and weakening the theme have always been the design philosophy we follow. Anyways, show me pictures. Are you using spring-loaded assembly? Why are you using spring-loaded assembly? Why? Why? I mean, it's better than screwless. But like, what if you drop it? It's just gonna explode like a Nokia 3310. 
And also, like, you, you have to deal with the reality that, like, the top and bottom are never going to sit completely flush, as they would when you screw it. But I guess, yeah, it is, it is true screwless. Internal counterweight. Fuck yeah. Dual internal weights. And there's a external weight. Nice. I mean, why would you drop your board? I don't know. What's my favorite FRL of all time? The one that we just saw, the Alex. Structural design. Yep, so it uses springs, ball bearings to essentially when you shove it in there, it grabs it. What's wrong with screws? I kind of like them. I don't mind screws, for, like, screws through the bottom. I hate screws through the top, like screwless. Fuck that. We've always believed the real value of the quick structure needs to be based on a premise. That is, players need to disassemble the keyboard many times. I mean, a true a true Chad only needs to disassemble his keyboard once. After he has broken in the switches on the keyboard, he desolders it, lubes the switches, and reassembles it. Like a Chad. Okay, so you can use basically a Leafs... Okay, I, I see what they're doing for the sound, by the way. Uh, it's basically... Leaf spring, uh, like mounts or standard gasket tabs, also condoms. Feel the sound, feel the sound. Guys, can you feel the sound? Feel the sound, feel it. You guys feel it? You guys feel it? Are you guys feeling the sound? Ah. <sighs> okay, are, are those meme cuts? Okay, they're only meme cuts. Okay, they're not super bad meme cuts. So they're alpha meme cuts. I'm kind of okay with this. These are for acoustic purposes. So like, maybe if well done, that's okay. But if poorly done, I'd prefer you not do them. And same thing with the PCB, which again, it is the correct position. Like it is fair to put a cut on top and bottom of the alphas, it helps you get a little bit softer, like bottom out feel from the alphas. Like if you're going to do any cuts, any cuts anywhere, these are the cuts you should be doing. If you're trying to do it for feel, if you're trying to do it for sound, do no cuts in the PCB and no cuts in the plate. Still makes the sound thinner though. It, it's the whole board assembly. Like you have to look at it as a complete package. So like in a vacuum, yes. But uh, if I had, for example, two thick internal weights that were really going to like, you know, lower the pitch of the board, something like this might actually work. How do you do good acoustic cuts? 50 prototypes? Yeah, basically. Or you just fucking YOLO it. That's more often than not, the best sounding boards were made good sounding by accident. PCB slot row. Okay, so you can fill you can fill the holes if you want. And then that still gives you the flex, but you lose the sound issue. That's not bad. All right, case noise ping optimization. So I assume you're using little bump ons, right? So yeah, no foam. Cool. So what do you do? Wait. On cycle seven, we have effectively suppressed the noise of the shell without filling cotton. Here's all the filling cotton. What? Why? Bro, paid add-on. Paid add-on, okay? $5, like you did for the ARC-60, okay? iPhone Pro Max. iPhone Pro Max. Where's my iPhone Pro Max? I have to show you my iPhone Pro Max. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't a kit like sold separately? I hope so. So as long as it's sold separately, I'm happy. As long as you say, here is the keyboard and this is how the keyboard should be. But if you want foam, you can have it as, a, as an option. That's perfect. That's perfect. Because it makes it clear that one, you know how to design a keyboard. Two, you know specifically how you want that keyboard to sound. Three, you manage to get that sound without using foam and four, Idiots that get the whole build and like see foam are gonna build with the foam because they're not they're gonna assume it's just part of the build, it's required. But if you make it clear that it's separate, then people will not buy it. More people should fucking do this instead of including foam in everything. Just make just design it well in the first place and then have foam as an option. 
What's up, Lottam? China has so many solutions to invented problems. Yep. Ah, uh, via via L, fuck yes. And there's additionally, like, you know, Bluetooth and shit. All right, so uh, soldering version, layout, ISO, split right shift, sang on bottom row, step row, uh, no split backspace, but I wouldn't use a split backspace on an FRL. Some people would. I, I don't know who those people are, but I know some people who split their fucking backspace on a TKL, so. And product... No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. So like the bitchinest one. The bitchinest one. The bitchinest one is $150? Fuck, what's it called? Bro, this is so good! This is so good! This is so good! Oh. Wait, are they not? Wait, are they not? Wait, are they not? I mean, Click Clack will do international, right? They won't do... Really? No! No! How do I get one? Fuck! No more back- it's not a back door, it was a review unit. Okay, how, how? How are you going to notify everyone in the community? It's a QQ group, right? Yeah, it is. So I'm so spoiled with this keyword. Do I look spoiled? I'm literally writing down the QQ group so I can join it. Did you just link me to Vertex General? I was just there. How did you get your 910? I'll tell you exactly how I got my TGR 910, okay? Uh, I tried to join the SE group by. I tried to, own, uh, to join the CE group by. I filled in the raffle form and I lost the raffle. Uh, I then tried for the Vietnamese special and failed. I then uh, tried for the 910 ME first first run and did not win. And then I tried for the second run and I did not win. And then on the third run, a friend of mine won. And I was like, hey, Simon, I'm just going to give you my unit. You can, pay, you can pay me for it. I'm like, oh, that's fucking great. Thanks, dude. That's very kind of you. And the second I announced it in a very hidden chat in our Discord, my order got fucking canceled. 
I fucking won fair and square, okay? I had a friend that won and decided to give me their unit of their own accord. And then I got mad. And then I DM TGR Sam and I'm like, I want a fucking 910. And then he sent me one and is refusing to take my money. So that's that's your story. All right, this, this, this. Get 70 eggplants. Did they change the address on their invoice to your address? That's probably why. No, no, it was uh, it was uh, it was an extras like re raffle, so like it wasn't tied to any geographic area. I think. Anyway, I got cooked. Bro, this is 150 bucks. It's 150 bucks. I want this. I want this. I want this so bad. Pro loves Vertex. I like this keyboard. If it had somebody else's name on it, I would still like it just as much. To be fair, Vertex has been doing good shit, so I like companies that do good shit. Bro, it's 150 bucks. How can we buy? Uh, China. Or you can wait for the, you know, international run, which is probably going to be in like six months and more expensive, but probably not by much. It's probably going to be like 200 bucks, maybe 220. Ah. <sighs> Feels bad. Do they own their own factory? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I don't know. I know for Matrix finishing, they obviously send it to Matrix, but I'm not sure. Qubit 65. They do not? Okay, they do not. All right, let's go. Hello, everyone. We are Chaos Era. Unknowingly, almost two months have passed since Cupid's first IC. As a kit after the Heracles 80, we naturally put a lot of effort into it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Any images of L? <gasps> Illuminati confirmed. Okay. Okay, two big strip feet. So screwless. Semi flush USB port. Okay, with like changeable little panels. That's kind of cute. Okay. Oh, it's not screwless. It's just screwless done right, where you put them under the feet. Well done. This looks like powder coat. Yeah, this looks like powder coat. This is not E-coat. E-coat would be way smoother and less sparkly, and you cannot anodize this type of yellow. Like, yet yellow anno is incredibly hard to do. Like, you end up super sparkly gold, or you end up brown. This is nice. And you get a little decoration. That's very cool. This is very fucking cool. Okay. Yeah, this is absolutely fucking powder coat. Okay, that looks like Cerakote. Yeah, this one looks like Cerakote. Or just like very matte powder coat. But that bottom feet strip is adhesive. Just glue it back. Glue, bro. Glue. Ah. <sighs> okay, it comes with like an enter key or has the option for an enter key. All right, so it's a 660 layout, which Bro, China fucking loves 660. I don't understand it. Like, who the fuck likes 660? Okay, China, obviously. But, like, who else likes 660? Nobody else. Big fucking weirdos. Oh, goddammit. it! A lot of them. FRL so good. Money, you cut. Also, share some of your so keyboard good. friends respectfully. Also, share please. some of your keyboard Oh, I forgot to sell out. Respectfully. Okay, it's time to sell out, guys. Sell out time. A lot of them redeemed Simon sells out seven minutes ago. All right, listen. I know that like I seem like a big fancy man with all the money in the world that can afford, you know, all the finest gators, okay? Mm. But I basically stream for free. I I like all, all of the stream money, all of the stream income, the donos, the subs, the Patreon, the YouTube views, uh, the merch pur uh, purchases, the Amazon affiliate links, all that goes directly into like a stream fund money. And that stuff is only used for stream. 
I can't use it for alcohol. I can't use it for clothing unless, you know, uh, I'm buying like merch samples, for example, because that's like actual business. Uh, I can't use it to buy food. I can't use it for electricity or rent or internet or keyboards or switches or lube or any of that. All for streaming. So like, if you want to support the channel, and there are many ways to support the channel, you can figure it out. Uh, you'll know that like it's going to a good cause because what we do is when we make profit, we do giveaways and we've done a good amount of giveaways this last year. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, the current stream profit is uh, probably down like $1,200, $1,250. So we're down $1,250. This is a public sheet. You can do exclamation profit. And ev like every month I update this live on stream to see like, what is all the income? What is all the spend? Where the money is going? all that stuff. But yeah, currently uh, we're not doing so hot. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, we're not doing so hot because I bought this amazing fucking lens. So good. And I got this new microphone that doesn't sound like butt cheeks and it doesn't sound like I'm in a fucking tin can and doesn't fucking pick up my farts. It's amazing. Uh, so yeah, uh, by the way, before I stop selling out, last thing, uh, Patreon, uh, the lowest tier is $2.50 a month. And if you care about like getting the money to the stream funds, that two fifty a month gets more money to the stream than a five dollar sub. I fucking so love like if that. you want to save some money, you can do that. And you know if you want to go big, there's like a ten dollar tier. You get to hang out in the patron chat, see all the feed pics and all that stuff. But yeah, Jepperture, thank you. Here's some Bezos bucks. Fuck yeah, and I do I I do appreciate the subs. I'm not saying like don't sub. Support however you want. And if you don't have money, that's fine. Don't fucking give me money. I'm cool. Just tune in, watch the streams. It makes me happy. I stream because I love streaming. Okay. I love, I love keyboards. I love the keyboard hobby. I know that like very often uh, people are like, oh, Simon's really toxic. Bro, I'm not fucking toxic. I just, the hobby is toxic. The shit that, you know, the shit that people get away with is fucking okay, toxic. Yeah. I'm just pointing out like stop the terrible money you cut. And don't just being cry over like, spilled beans bro, this water. is fucking terrible. Please Clueless. fucking stop doing this. And a lot of people have learned. I think if we as a community like all fucking come together and like share our knowledge and like share our experience and help people that are coming into the hobby and show them the light, as long as they're willing to learn at least a little bit, I think we can help them a lot. So yes. Step says, thank you for the 690. Don't cry over spilled bidet water. <laughs> ah, that is that is an inside joke if I've ever seen one. Thank you guys, by the way. Thank you all. Like, I don't care. Like, if, if you give me money or you don't give me money, or if I like, I love interacting with the community. I love it when people come into the Discord and start bullying each other. I love, you know, all the projects that like we've done together, all of like the big events we've done together. I love that shit. That makes me really fucking happy. And who the fuck pinged me? Ah, the wood. Let's not open that on chat. That's a interesting project that you guys will hopefully see soon. Ah, uh, all right, back to this. 660 layout, which I'm not a fan of, but to be fair, like it's unique. You're 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 doing something unique. So gasket wired in Bluetooth via perky RGB, the usual China memes, okay? Price starting from 1600 That's not fucking bad, dude. That's like 300 bucks flat. That's 231 bucks. That's fucking nothing. That's not That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. See, it's shit like this that makes me sad because like China's got so much good shit and you can't buy it unless like you pro know how to China. You got QQ, you got WeChat, you got Ali, Alipay, and you got a Chinese address or a Chinese proxy. Or you have a really good Chinese friend, okay? Chinese friend. I like this. I'll give it an okay hand. It's a cool little project. I'm not the biggest fan of the layout or the design, but but it looks very cool. It looks very cool. You guys lurking? This is nice. This is nice. It's very cute. Ah, all right. Next, we have the Freya 65%, another China special. Let's fucking go. Dude, China's doing so much good shit. I should just move to China and be one with the Chinese Communist Party. 
So this is Wook Studio. I figured that out not by looking here, but by reading Wook Studio Ding Kun. And I was like, aha. <laughs> Love and light go together. It is the coming of the goddess Freya. Some see the roses of May. Some hear the night tales of June. People pursue true love and freedom. Here, Freya 68 was born. Okay. So it's very reminiscent of the Eki 68. You reviewed this last stream, no? Did I? Did I though? That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. It was on Reddit. Ah, yep, I remember this part. I remember this part. Okay, so we're going to skip this. You gave it a spoon? What is wrong with me? Should have given it two spoons. <laughs> oh, we got a gator kiss. All right, duality, TKL, fuck yeah. Okay, uh, if 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 the Slipknot song just started playing in your hand, please uh, in your head, please raise your hand right now. I'll wait. Just show me hands. You can use the high emote. Like the default Twitch one. I'll wait. Really, just me? Okay, I guess just me. Fuck it. Wow. What song? Duality. Okay, I could write an essay on this board, but going to try and keep this short and sweet. Special thanks to Gian for developing the Love Tadpole Mount and the Bayona Lajuzva for the design inspiration and supporting the project. Mounting options. Tadpole. Through the PCB. Tadpole plateless. PCB top mount. Plate top mount. Or O-ring. Nice. Astral prototype. Okay, so little little TKL. Little TKL, a little bit of uh, 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 that is a uh, very cool sword. I really like that sword. That's a uh, sword. I like this uh, very happy goat, uh, you know, uh, giving the peace sign to, you know, all the stars in the sky. It's pretty lit. I, uh, you know, I, I, I like all these very happy symbols of, you know, having respect for our older generations and stuff like that. All right, six to 700 bucks. And there's a manufacturing cost breakdown. I mean, like, is, is, is there an MOQ here? I'm not gonna click through to this, but is there an MOQ? All right, add 50 of each. Okay. This is like, this is basically priced at like 50 units. At 200 units, I expect like a little bit of a better price. Is that the key cult logo on the skull? Yes, that's a key, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Desk mat art. Okay. All right, so. Okay, let's let's look at that cost breakdown again. Top 108 bucks that checks out. Bottom 123 bucks that checks out. Weight copper. The weight can't be that big. Is the weight that big? Is there a full picture of the internal? Okay, so it goes like all the way across, doesn't it? 
Fuck, I wish you just have better pictures, dude. Like, don't zoom in super hard. We're trying to see, like, the actual keyboard. Okay, are there better pictures in the color examples? Anything unbuilt? Okay, there we go. So this gives me an idea. So it's a one, so it's a multi-layer large copper weight. Okay, 92 bucks, that checks out. Uh, stainless steel would only be a bit more expensive. Yep. Badge at nine bucks. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 20 bucks is starting price for plates. Yeah. This, this checks out this, this like actual production price checks out. And the accessories price is a little bit on the high side. Unless the accessories includes the unit price. Because realistically, I mean, the, 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 like the, the general, uh, like the general calculation is like uh, machining cost times two. So if we do top, which is 108 bucks plus bottom, which is 123 bucks plus weight. I mean, I can just look at the fucking unit price. Uh, it's 386 times two. Yeah. Okay. That's actually like, that's actually within the fucking price point. Six to seven hundred. Yeah, that's actually a fair fucking price. For all that's in it, that's actually a fair fucking price. Wow. Never thought I'd fucking say that. See, like, here's the thing, okay? Some people will be like, oh, but Simon, you don't like expensive boards. You, you just want everything to be cheap. No, 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 no. Like, I'm down if things are expensive. If they're expensive for a reason. Like, if the the cost that i am spending is not going into marketing or your pocket it's going to like actually making it the bitchiness board with like complex weights complex fucking machining complex geometry nice fucking like the hard case you know like bitchin pcb yeah go for it absolutely go for it i'd pay six to seven hundred dollars for something that's top tier you know for example my jaguar was 650 bucks and if it was if it didn't have the issues that it had it would be worth that money I want to see everyone provide these price breakdowns. I mean, I have price breakdowns for group buys I haven't even run yet. Like, it's nice to fucking have. But like, mine is kind of a, a little bit more complicated. MWO 5000. All right, let's go to drive. All right, let's not dock secret stuff. Give me a second. Uh, 5000. Pricing. Okay. Oop. All right. So here's here's my pricing sheet. So I have an assumed MOQ. I have a per unit cost for basically everything. Uh, and then I adjust for breakage. So failed machining, 5% chance. Failed NO, 15% chance. Unrecoverable, 8% chance. Failed PCB, shipping loss, etc. And then I apply that to the per unit cost. Then I add all the fixed costs. So PCB design, case design, shipping, proto, all that that's basically fixed then my variable per unit cost so like what payment costs what tax costs is what import costs and what vendor margin would be and then from there i can get an actual final cost of what it will realistically cost so like this for example is what the nwo 5000 would cost at 200 moq at my like assumed breakage and then i can calculate uh, for example, if I take 20 units and I vickery them and the average sale price of that vickery is 1500, then it brings the, uh, and I take all that money and I put it back into the group buy instead of putting it into my pocket, then I can reduce the price from 753 to $671, which is pretty fucking cool. So that's, that's going to be my plan, but that's assuming the base price is going to be the same. But I don't think it will. I think the Vickery units will have a special like finishing that will involve sending them internationally. So like, yeah, I mean, but yeah, this is something that like everybody needs to do. Uh, I understand that like as a business, you don't want to really disclose shit like that. I, I'm, I'm just doing this because like I'm not planning to make any money off the group buy. Like I'd be selling it at cost like I usually do. But it's very, very cool to see this from an actual group buy. And to be fair, with the amount of complexity, this checks out. I will give it a very... What year did you calculate the cost? This one? 
I'll give it an okay hand. What's the NW0 5000? I don't know. If only there was like an Illuminati keyboards section and a uh, server and a the, the thing and there were pins that were pinned. What's this? Oh, that's the cost. Yeah. Oh, that's like the only fucking thing. I have no pictures actually like pinned. Good luck. Uh, I'll give you a hint. How's the hint? All right, let's move on. Bro, thoughts on this? Uh, hold on to it till the end of the stream. Vintage 60s. Oh, you guys are interested? Prepare to be more fucking interested. So here's, here's my plan for the NW0 5000. My plan is, as Illuminati keyboards, to do a NW0 series. The NWO series will focus on basically two major things. Major thing number one is taking classic cherry keyboards and remaking them in aluminum. Uh, they'll be PCB I mound, they'll be very true knobs. to tradition. Part two is they will be open sourced, fully open sourced the day of group by start, not the day the group by ends. The day I start selling the limited amount of units that I'm gonna be selling, I fully open source everything. That's PCB with uh, uh, which PCB maker to go to, that's case design, that's accessories, and I am uh, making it available in a licenseless format, which means you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. You can use it for commercial purposes, do whatever you want. So everybody gets a chance. There is one rule and one rule only. And the rule is if you put Illuminati branding on it, then I will cancel all future projects in the NWO series and remove all the resources and publicly shame you. So, yeah. But the idea is going to be to do the uh, G80 5000, the G80 1800, a uh, G80 TKL and numpad, a G80 60% and uh, then a G80 full size. And all of them will be fully open sourced. Why take it away for everyone just because of one what because of what one idiot is going to do LOL because I want good things in this hobby. It's almost like a guaranteed troll. You'd have to spend like a thousand dollars to troll me. And just ruin everybody else's day and then be shunned by the community forever. I don't think anybody wants to fucking do that. Would they be beige powder coated? No, they would be all silver, at least the NWO 5000, because I'm going to produce it with Gion and I want to keep the anodization as simple as possible to reduce like any wildness in the anno. So I'm going to do 200 units, but the open source variant, you can get whatever finishing you want. Have fun. Uh, the Vickery units will probably uh, have a like a special like oven sealed coating that's like very very like very nice beige, uh, kind of like a matte like car beige color. Will you do raw cases? No, you will have silver as the only option. Where can I find info on this board? There's very little info. Uh, I mean the Illuminati keyboard server. Uh, if you don't know the server, you can go to illuminati.works, scroll down, there's a Discord link. What if I put a triangle on my NWO 5000? You can put a triangle on it, dude, that's fine. Just, like, don't put Illuminati branding. What I tell my students, if you want the cool things we do, keep your friends in check and we don't have them ruin it for everyone else, yeah? Will they be top mount? They'll be PCB mount. So the NWO 5000 is going to use... Uh, basically uh, PCB tabs that will be held in by two hot dog gaskets that will be tightened down. So it'll, it's gonna be gasket mounted, which is a lot better than like the OG hopes and dreams mount. I just noticed that the i69 picks on the Illuminati site aren't working anymore. It happens sometimes, I just need to reset the site. Gallery. Works fine for me. Unless you mean like on the i69 page. Those are also fine. Yeah, you met, remember when I thought this was gonna be $500? You remember when I thought this was gonna be $500? Oh yeah. I need to update this to like have like 
I, I want to get the case design finished first. Can't find the Discord link. Wait, the fuck? Huh. It's gone. Oh, that, that also broke. Okay, it feels bad. I mean, somebody else can give you the link. All right, let's clear this course so we can do group buys. What are you going to do to I1? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I have my prototype. I don't like my prototype. The, the mounting is exceptionally expensive. I don't really like the sound or feel. I'm, I might just fucking cancel it. Like, I, I don't have, like, five plus grand to spend on prototyping to make it feel better. Like, doing an all-steel keyboard is expensive, dude. I don't like it. And the glare exists now, so. ISO Geek Hack page contains the Discord link? No, that contains the old Discord link when I shared servers with uh, Poner Ion. Any thoughts on the Type 60 from Axiom Studio? You can do exclamation recap. And in that sheet, you can do control H to find my thoughts because I've covered it before. Also, thank you, Milk, for the 18 months. All right, let's go. Group by time. The Richard macro pad kit. Yes, yes, I knew it was a cock. I knew it was a cock. I knew it was a dick. Let's fucking go, Simon approved. Oh, I don't even care. Stop I don't even, if money. this was like a hundred dollars, I don't even care. distinct enough from Jaguar to justify hunting for it in future raffles when I'm already distinct parties? enough from Jaguar to justify hunting it in future raffles? Yeah, 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 they're very different. I love my Jaguar. The Jaguar is a very unique board. It's not like any other board. Uh, the Jane Emmy, I wouldn't personally go for it because I have a non-ME and I have a CE and having an internal brass weight to me matters a lot but like if if you've tried an ME and you like the sound go for it because from a feel and aesthetic perspective it's the same as a V2 so absolutely go for it as long as you're okay with the sound if the sound profile is not for you then hold off until the Jane 3 all right 3D printed black knobs black knobs give me black knobs Delicious sandwich cookie knob. No, black knob. Switches, black switches. No, no switches. Wait, isn't, I assume no switches is an option. Assembly options, assembled. Kit items, I agree. Oh, all right, it ends up 50. Oh, and it plugs in at the tip. Oh, that is so good. When is Gator Dance? We'll do it right after group buys. Or no, we'll do it, we'll do it here. Uh, let me get let me get the link for the gator dance. Okay, I don't want links uh, leaks as to what it is, so. No, you guys are gonna fucking click it now. Okay, nobody click it. No halftime show. I put it at the end because for VODs, it needs to get like manually muted by the recap team. Otherwise it can't be uploaded to the VOD channel. So if I put it in the middle, it makes it really hard. If I put it at the end, it makes it easy. All right, let's go. The Richard, just, just fucking buy it, dude. Just buy it, look at that. Look at that beautiful Richard. That is a Richard right there. See, I have, I have a, a very similar uh, keyboard actually, okay? Keyboard is a strong word, but... See, mine's a little bit bigger. Mine's a little bit bigger. See, this one only has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six switches. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine switches. No knobs though. True. Also no PCB. It's just it's just a switch holder. I mean, this is gonna be used for uh, for good switches once I stop being a cuck and actually do it. Average is five switches. True. 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 Hmm. 
Shouldn't one knob be bigger than the other? Yes. All right, next. Silhouette FRL. Hello, folks. All right, 420 plus shipping. That's all we're going to look at here. And we're going to judge if this is worth 420. Okay, that actually looks pretty nice. All right, half plate in the picture, so I know you're based. Very based. I see that you're using a standard uh, A87 USB location, which is fine. Instead of a daughter board. Honestly, at 420, I would expect you to be using a daughter board. Okay, okay the weight looks pretty good. Side profile is like semi HG side, stylized HG side. So instead of just like being a straight line where it gets thicker, you got a nice curve. Okay, that probably adds cost. Okay. Oh, it's bulgy from the top. Okay, so if you like big bulge, then okay, maybe. All right, very dirty nightstand. Okay, that's a nice red. Like normally, like uh, like image compression is terrible online for red. Okay, big ol' big ol' internal through weight looks like. Is it a through weight? Is it a single piece? It's probably a single piece. Okay. Plates look good. You're not doing any big memes. This is respectable. DBO key is a video of this. Is it in the link? Nope. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the mounting points. Yeah. So I will show you where this plate has fucked up. Okay. Are you guys watching? Here. This general area. That should not be there. That should not be there. These are like internal to the to the stab landing area. So your space bar is going to feel stiff as fuck. Also, why do you have this and this? If this were a separate plate, like if it was a two piece plate, I understand that. But realistically, you do one between these two. It's not complicated. And you move this in a little bit. You also move that in a little bit. Same thing. Get a center one here. This goes out a little bit. Uh, this can basically stay. This can basically stay. But yeah, your mounting points are not great. Like, it would be fine with a really soft material, but without a soft material, that's going to be a little painful. And normally, I wouldn't be a dick about it, because like, if you want to design a stiff plate, then design a stiff plate. But if you're giving half plate as an option, clearly you're not trying to design a... S What's blinking red? Wait, what the fuck is blinking red? You guys saw that. Wait. Why don't I see it? Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, never mind. That's my fiber switch being a bitch. So, like, oh no, I can't detect the fan because you swapped it to a Noctua fan. I'm going to blink red forever. Ah, oh, okay. Bomb. La Bomba. Half plate is standard? Okay, that makes it even worse. All right, so here's the thing. You've kind of, you've kind of fucked up. You've kind of fucked up by going way too stiff on something that is half plate first. Now, I wouldn't go as... F no, I'm going to give it a don't buy because that is something that, like... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I, when I say that, I mean, like, I actually am sorry, okay? But oof. Oof. All right. RME Studio. Alas 60. I love RME. The, the, the actual, like, audio brand. Pre-order. All right, so it's $390 for a Bakenico. Is this a Bakenico? Don't tell Kate that I'm saying it wrong. It's basically a Bakenico. Like, I understand that, like, there's, you know, more pieces, but still. Proto sounded bussing, though, of this one? Oh, the entire bottom is brass. Okay. Yeah, this is this is like big boy weight. This weighs more than an F1. Okay. Yeah. I mean, with a full brass bottom. Full brass bottom at 390. I didn't even notice the full bottom was brass. Holy shit. Okay, that doesn't look like full brass bottom. That just looks like a big fucking weight. And that's not even brass. I don't understand. Explain this to me. Oh, okay. So there's a giant fucking slab of brass on the inside and then a small external one for like prettiness. Okay, I got it. I got it. 
I got it. Okay. Honestly, 390 bucks for something that weighs this much is fair, and I would give it a buy. I mean, it is a 60%, which I'm not super hot on personally. But, okay, that's fine. Layout support is fine as long as you're not using ISO. Sorry, EU. Plate is fine because it's pressure fit gasket. So, fuck it. It's a very, very fancy Bakenico. This is the, like, Bakenico Raid Boss. It's by no means a sussy Neko. It's a Chad Neko. Also no wing kilos. It's, it's, I mean, at least you can have a Sangan bottom row. It's something. It's something. All right, join 65. Maybe I will. Maybe not. Let's find out. I love how this is in the group buy section, but it's on Z Frontier where nobody has a chance to buy it. Let's go. Hello, everyone. This is Knife Lab. After a month of IC survey feedback, we made the thing. Okay. So it's A65%. Is that a mid piece? Or is that just a lighting? It's a mid piece. That is a mid piece. I haven't seen a mid piece this wide since the exclusive E6 V2, which I owned. Yep, that is a mid piece. <laughs> okay. 7 degree, 1.2 kilos built, gasket. Foam. Okay. Exploded view. Oh, that's not a mid piece. That's not a mid piece. This is kind of like uh, the Weaven. Holy shit, I mean, the Weaven group by bro. is Has the Weaven, like, did we get scammed on the Weaven? Like the round three in, from 2020? I completely fucking forgot. Can we see the E6? I sold it to uh, MX Blue. The Australian designer. For like way less than I bought it for. Okay, so it's it's weaving S sides where you can basically like transplant different sides onto it. Okay. So how many how many ducats is this? Because if this is like seventy dollars, okay. If this you is like three hundred, then choices absolutely. In keyboard fucking streamers. Money. Why? And you made the wrong. Okay, choice. kit price. There we go. Yeah, it's like literally seventy dollars. It starts at seven hundred. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks. Raid message. Hello, raid message. Hello, hello, raiders. What's up? Okay, so uh, none of you can buy this because you need to you need to Alipay two hundred ninety ninety one as a deposit. So like you wouldn't be able to actually do this. So as a result, I'm going to give it a don't buy because you literally can't buy it. And if you can, prove me wrong. Buy it. It's a fair price. It is. It's a fair price, but it's unbuyable. So like if this was just like you can buy it on Taobao for like X amount of monies, then you'd be able to buy it. But the fact that you need to Alipay basically a deposit means no international people can get it. They put foam on top of the plate. Yeah, that's where you put the foam, bro. Don't you know this? All right, next we have the Pixie TKL, another Google form. 200 units, $575 estimate. Oof, the bottom better be fucking made out of like unobtainium. Full aluminum plate, custom click jacket, IM casket, wine contrast mid panel, custom wolf PCB, artwork by Kuso. Inter internal QR badge. I feel like this is dog shit. Yep. 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 See, I didn't see that part. If I had seen that part, I would have just stopped fucking reading. It is a cruel world. That is a don't buy. It is a cruel world. Don't buy from cruel world. Honestly, at this price point, you can go to Datesim and literally just get one for cheaper. The all Alu Proto Teha got sent was 1.9 kilos fully built with keycaps. That's about standard. Wait, we don't like cruel world? I mean, it has nothing to do with like or don't like. It's just track record dude 
Like, if you run group, good group buys at good prices, then fine. If you, you know, make nonsense boards that are overpriced and have terrible group buys, then... I mean, 1.9 kilo, all alu is about standard for a TKL. Uh, what is that supposed to, like, say? What is wrong with Cruel World? Uh, they're trying to sell you this for $600. How do you define overpriced? Uh, I look at the item and then using my knowledge of, you know, what things should actually cost by like having done a lot of costing myself, myself, I look at it and then I look at the MOQ and then I uh, do math in my head and I determine if it's above the norm or below the norm. This is way fucking above the norm. This is more expensive than a Jane, just buy a Jane. Just buy a Jane. Just Keep trying for Jane MEs. Don't don't fucking buy copium pixies, dude. Don't buy copium pixies. Simon, how has this day been going? It's been good, dude. We did server stuff. I, we, uh, Kate and I installed two more servers to our server cluster. We now have three servers, almost. This is expensive. This is expensive and like, like I don't see a prototype, and this is like a group buy. That's kind of sus. Like, there's a lot of like sussy shit. It's a lot of sussy shit. It's a lot of sussy shit. Taya did the prototype? Yeah, of course did go to Taya. Is that a long pull? Yes. Guys, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> So I'm going to save the link for later. <clears throat> okay. Next, we have the Matrix 8XV3 weight group buy. So what, just the weight? <laughs> Wait, really? I don't understand. Okay, somebody explain this to me. Did the 3.0 not have a weight? It did, yeah. So, wh what is this? This is stainless steel as opposed to Brass? Why, why would you... Like, who cares? It's the same. Like, it's an external weight anyways. It's for the diehard fans. I'm just gonna press this and just casually move on. And pretend we didn't see anything. Why the fuck is this here? What do I mean? Backplate Series 1, G cables. Are you serious? Oh, it's in Filipino pesos. Pesos. What is this in dollars? Sixty-six dollars for an actual backplate that actually screws on. For an actual backplate that actually screws on. Is there a Jane version? Yeah! Oh, that stainless steel looks terrible, though. The brass looks a little bit better, but I don't want to be holding it by the brass. Copper, then? Same problem. It, it would have to be stainless steel for me. Sixty bucks? Does it make any acoustic difference? I mean, adding a little bit more weight to like absorb a little bit of case vibrations would impact the sound a little bit. Does the Jane CE plate work on the V2? You mean the back plate? Yeah, I think uh, I think the mounts are uh, similar. Shipping is extremely expensive. I mean, I have a I have an address in the Philippines. I might actually go for this.
Doesn't Emmy use magnets? Yes, but the screw slots are still there. So you can actually make a backplate and actually screw it. It's amazing. Okay, so this, this, okay. I'm gonna give this assignment approved by under the condition that you can figure out shipping, not like shipping directly from here to where you live, but like shipping to somebody in the Philippines and then shipping it to you. Why is the stainless steel sh so dark? It says it here that they have been modified to get that matte grainy appearance. So I assume it's like heavily sandblasted. The backplate isn't the same? From CE to ME? No, uh, somebody asked, is the CE the same as the Jane 2? Yeah. And I think they're the same. Like, I, I have both of them. They're fine. Why not pay 30 for DHL? I mean, you can. But yeah, Simon so approved by. This is fucking great. This is fucking great. Doing the Lord's work. I don't have to fucking deal with magnets anymore. This is great. I, okay, so, uh, uh, buy this, you cuck. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so good. How do you remove the magnets from the case? You don't need to remove them. Link, please. Exclamation links. It's right here. Backplate series one. How many of your bookmarks are named that? Uh, uh, two. But if I open like my other Chrome account, all of them. This is actually quite cool. There is hope for my 910. Wait, no, my 910 is pink. Oh, it's not behind me. I didn't unpack my boards from the meetup. They're still in the fucking hard case. Did anyone else not have a hard time getting the weight off the 910? What do you mean not? I fucking struggled so hard. Apparently there's one corner that's easier to do than the others. And I did that one last. CE and ME have different feet. Yeah, they do. All right, Turbulent Labs leather accessories. We're not talking about the, the ME, by the way. We're talking about the V2. Okay, that's, that's suede. How do you type suede? Oh, the bottom is suede, the type is leather. Oh. Then who the fuck cares about the bottom? Just buy a normal fucking, like, leather desk bat, dude. There you go, 15 bucks. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. No shot anything you buy on AliExpress is real suede leather that feels good. True. True. Absolutely. Absolutely. You are absolutely right. But the point is... This is like wild expensive. Like at this point, you're paying for the brand name. You're not paying for the leather because like you can actually go to a leather worker and just be like, hey, can you make me a 900 by 400 uh, where the bottom is suede and the top is leather? And they'll be like, fine, they'll probably do it for cheaper than this. Like literally any fucking leather place. So like you are absolutely fucking paying for the brand, which no, fuck that, dude. I don't want to pay for the brand. Leather coaster. And there's plenty of places that do leather wrist rests as well. This, this, no, absolutely fucking not. Simon, should SS be clear coated? No, no, stainless steel is stainless steel. You sandblast it, you can brush it, you can polish it. You don't have to be clear. You don't have to clear coat it. 
All right. I'm going to give this a don't buy because, again, the price point, like, if this was, like, $90, like, $90, I understand. $90 is on the high end for, like, you know, two pieces of leather, like, stitched together and glued together. $165 is really pushing it. All right, next. GMK Coco Goat. Yes, it's Weeb. Ask Paul. It's from his favorite game. Oh, Genshin Impact? Fuck yeah. Love Gen Genshin Impact. It's my favorite game too. G okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, rendering on a full size? Fucking based. That's how you render. Render on a goddamn full size. Show me the, the key set on your hero image. Don't show me it on a fucking like 42%. Fuck you. Put it on a real keyboard. Put it on a fucking battleship. Be a man. It's by Switch Mod. Fuck yeah. I love Switch Mod. Krillbit is uh, Krillbit is the ultimate loop goblin. Can't even buy this anymore. Don't worry about it. 160 bucks. That's on the high side, but it comes with novelties and like full native Alice support with bars. I think like 145. No, I think like 150, 155 would be fair for this. And then pushing it up like another five bucks is not unheard of. No ISO. Fuck you. No, no, not like me saying fuck you. It's the key set saying fuck you. It's perfect. So only 200 are for sale. It's got beautiful desk bats. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, it has a radster. Look at all those artisan collabs. I don't know a single one of these. Wait, is that Rub 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 Jose or whatever the fuck it's called? Or is that Gaff? Does Gaff do artisans? I don't fucking know. I don't know who anyone else is. Okay, so it is Rubber Hose. Got it. Nice. Rubber Dome. Nice. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, since this is no longer purchasable, and because this does not have ISO, and because this is a big weeb kit, I'm giving it a Simon Approved buy. And nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me, because you can't buy it, even if I give it a Simon Approved buy. Get fucked. Yeah, fuck yeah. Crew buys May 50. Oh, I thought it sold out. Okay, well, <laughs> good luck, boys. Simon approved buy. Simon approved buy. Ah, all right, let's go. Discord submissions. Clack. Does this make sounds? Because that's not going to work. Okay, does it cost money? Because I'll go fucking install it on my Mac Mini right now. It's $4? You want me to pay $4 for Clack? This guy wants... What is this? Excuse me? $4 to pay for Clack? Listen, listen. If you want true high fidelity Clack, okay? If you want true, true high fidelity Clack, okay? The highest. You gotta get it on vinyl, dude. You gotta get it on vinyl. That's the high fidelity clack, okay? High fidelity. I can't believe this is $4. Where did you get that? Uh, don't worry about it. Just the vinyl, no record player required. Exactly, just the vinyl. I don't have a fucking turntable, dude. Ah, this is this is cursed as fuck. Okay, new GMK sorting machines in actions. Please be people. Please be people. Oh, yep. I fucking see a person would have noticed knobs. that that's that's not an X. That's a Y. 
Oh, cool. I can't scroll left and right. Good job, Reddit. Gorilla, thank you for the Prime sub. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yep. GMK sorting machines. German layout. Yeah, the ultimate German layout. Where the Y is here and the Z is here. And also there's a Y here. They got an extra Y, what's the problem? Exactly. Exactly, dude. Someone got two X's. Perfect. Let's put one up here. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Why though? Uh, the long boy. The guy they told you not to worry about. Bro, read it. Okay, so I click it. I can go up and down, but I can't go left and right when I hold shift and scroll. Read it, read it, read it. Bro, you've spent millions of fucking dollars revamping your website, and it doesn't fucking work. Backspace is funny. It's perfect. Don't worry about it. Can you open picture a new tab? I can, but like, I shouldn't have to, dude. Damn, boy. That is a perfect backspace placement. That is a perfect backspace placement. That is so good. That is so good. And I love, like, the excess on the sides. Oh. You can tell that this man is based by his cable, okay? The more coils and interconnects your cables have, the sexier of a man you are, okay? The sexier of a man you are. So, you know, you've got a quick little, you know, interconnect here, and you got a little coil here, right? And then you got another coil here, and then you've got another interconnect. Just, just, just all the interconnects, all the interconnects, just all of them. Oh. It's how you know you're a Chad, okay? I know a lot of you can't relate. Oh, this is beautiful. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. Simon, how is the glare? I'm still using it at the office. It's fucking great. Oh, I see somebody already has Richard on their desk. Yeah, this is uh, this is an OG Richard. It's uh, a little bit longer. What's up, Kira types? Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, it's Jack. Fuck, how do I do this without, like, doxing everything? We don't. I'm just gonna DM Jack later. And just be like, hello, it's me, your friend Simon. <laughs> it's probably, like, fucking, like, hand soldered, too. The world record for fastest typer has just been broken with 272 words per minute. With a normal keyboard? Like a real keyboard? Holy fucking fastness, dude. I can't. I can't. It's going to make me too horny. Just got into the custom keyboard community and made my first board last week. What board? What board? What board? Must be based. Is that just QWERTY? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It looks like a QWERTY. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a Steel Series board and it is Hall Effect. Did you already do Jack Sketchy Sketchy? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, all right. I'll never shut up about this. He proposed me to be his girlfriend with a keyboard. Not based. B men die girlfriend saying question mark page these nuts tofu 62.0 with getter on ink v blacks that is that is that is the normie special good job sayang means my love in melee nice <laughs> oh 
Uh, the numbers one three question mark four question mark 20 she said no because this guy is clearly mentally unwell wow holy 280k likes yep yep is that an ask for permission to get into her pants or what's the deal with being that official i don't know some people like it's that it, sometimes it's like it's awkward to just be like, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend without like sounding like you're fucking 14? You know, like officially. Oh, it's a date. OK, that's pretty cool. All right, let me let me find my headphones so we can listen to uh, these videos. Uh, ah, there they are. Eeh. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here just, you know, what, jacking it, just jacking it. How would you propose, Simon? I don't have to propose. I am the danger. Oh. With a bottle of alcohol. No, that's if somebody wants to propose to me. Just be like, here's a bunch of whiskey. And I'll just be like, I love you. All right. All right, let's check out some videos, then we do a gator dance. All right, SG, S6G, HG, he, he, KB. Let's check it out. Okay, Lenzo Flucas. Why do you, why are you DBL? Why are you DBO? Holy shit. How is it still so loud? <laughs> yeah, it looks like an aftermarket housing. Wait, so you put a plate on the plate? Okay, thank God. Okay, you're using actual housings. No, no, don't, don't mix, don't mix oil with an oil fucking grease mix, dude. It's not gonna adhere. It's gonna separate you, dumbass. Why is there always Weeb Leak Spin on Simon's YouTube recommendation? Because I love Leak Spin. 205 on Topro? You can. I lube my Topro with like, uh, like a tube of Super Lube. Worked fine. All right, just type on it. That sounds very overlooped. Listen, listen, guys. Wow, that sounds sussy as fuck. <laughs> Ooh. It's a pretty board, yeah. Okay, I can't. This is too much. This is too much. The, the board looks nice, 
This needed like a way better build. Oof. All right. The history of cursor keys. How long is this? Oh, all right. How was that gator dance? That was pretty good.
we haven't gotten a song like that before. Usually it's super weeb shit or super hard shit. That was oof. That was good. The song was Shambhala. Uh, S-H-A-M-B-A-L-A by Beastie Boys. Come on. You guys should know your Beastie Boys. Oh. All right. That was, that was fucking solid. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a while since, uh, since we've had a, a proper gator dance. Oh. oh, yeah. Not as good as Celine Dion, though. Ooh. Encore? No encores. Nice try, buddy. All right. How do we raid people? They changed the buttons. Why did they change the buttons? Raid? Raid? Found it. Okay. Who's streaming? There's nobody fucking streaming, dude. All right, let's let's find out who's streaming. Uh, boom. Let's go to twitch.tv. The best place for weeb shit. All right, we want to go to Makers and Crafting. Keyboard? Feels bad. Tell Kate to stream. Uh, she's asleep. Show boob stream. Is Jack live? No, because like I, I, I'm, I'm not subbed. I'm uh, following. I would have seen him. All right. What about science and technology? Really? Do I have to fucking spell it out for you? Womp womp. We're starting to make techno problem. Oh no. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is Get a over. bitchin', bitchin' channel, but you won't be able to talk for ten minutes after just, you follow. No, so I'm, I'm gonna bending. drop in a casual black Simon sus. Yeah. It's caught on something. And then we're gonna we're gonna raid this man. What? Is it caught on dirty He does all the best fucking vent shit. It's so good. It's so good. And yeah, obviously, like he was there in my list, but I prefer to like raid keyboard people. Anyway, those of you that watched, thank you for watching. Those of you that are watching the VOD, thank you for watching. Those of you that are that are in Australia, fucking go to sleep, dude. And those of you that are in EU, may God have mercy on your ISO layouts. Have a good night, everyone. I'll see you guys on Monday. And maybe there will be a YouTube video tomorrow on YouTube where I will screw review the screw reviews. It's going to be very lit. YouTube.com slash Black Simon. Let's go. Mwah. See you, boys. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, my gosh. Look. Look. <laughs> That's where I touched it. <laughs> and I wiped all the dust off. Oh, it's so bad. Oh.